we're in, I'm still in, which always means that so are you, <laughs> in Sita Fest time. I'm in absolute love with my Sita book. And this is just something to think about as we practice. Sita is saying to one of her assistants or her main assistant, she says, these animals, these trees are a manifestation of love. For no other reason have they come into being. They are the reflection of the love that sustains and upholds the universe. Humanity once knew this, but all too quickly they are forgetting it. And when they block the channel of love that flows between them and the rest of the natural world, it is my greatest desire to prevent this from happening. And so we must saturate the world with more love. This is our sole task. So that last sentence, we must saturate the whole world with more love for that is our sole task. Just really want the moment we came into existence that that was the task that we were given. Whatever else unfolded due to that, whatever else unfolds, the only reason we're here, our sole task is to saturate the world with love. Bring your hands together, rub your hands together, please. And then steady your palms at your heart and saturate yourself with love. Not even a love that we're knowing yet. We have so much more to learn about love. Maybe learn that breath by breath, minute by minute. Ong namo, go to dev namo. Deep breath in. Dropping your hands down to your lap. Adgare name together. Adgare name. Sugadgare name. Sadgare name. Sirigare deve name. Adgare name. Sugadgare name. Sadgare name. Sirigare deve name. Adgare name. Sugadgare name. Sadgare name, Siri Guru Deve name, Siri Guru Deve name, Siri Guru Deve name. Deep breath in. And out. Saturated with love. Let your eyes open. Come on up to your hands and knees. Start some cat and cow, please. You can turn on some music if you'd like. Eyes open or closed. One purpose. To uncover, to decode what love truly means. My son got me watching this. Um, 
watching on Hulu. It's um, a medium young guy. Can't think of his name right now, but he does these readings for these celebrities. Anybody else see him? If you have a chance, check it out. And the reason I'm saying that is because the way he speaks and listens to people is magical. The way that love oozes from him is magical. Downward facing dog. The way he affirms what people say. You can't help but see how he cares. Go ahead and walk your feet up to your hands. Bow deeply here. And then sweep the arms out and up. Exhale, bow forward. Inhale the arms out and up. Exhale, bow forward. And do a couple more just like that. Sweeping your auric field, connecting through source, your mind and your heart and your breath with the energy that's surrounding you, that's holding you, supporting you. Next time you reach up, stay, keep your arms lifted up. And then drop your right arm down the right side and lean to the right. Then come center and lean to the left. Keep going side to side. Listen to your body. Listen to the wisdom of the body as it slowly, slowly opens. Decoding what love truly means as it flows through your body, spirit, soul. Good, come back up to center. And then just bring your arms over the top of the head and just shake everything. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Truly, every single day we need to shake. <laughs> just shake, 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 shake. Either shaking open, unblocking. Shake, shake, shake. One more minute. You all make me very proud. Good shaking. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, come into squat. It's okay. Chair would have been just fine. Don't worry. <laughs> I see what you guys are doing. I would have said something. But that's fine. If you can squat, stay squatting. If you can't, that's fine too. Good. And then come down to take a seat. Comfortable cross-legged seat. Look at you, Sasha. You're there. <laughs> okay. Arms out, letter T, palms face up. Close the eyes, roll the eyes in and up to the third eye and begin breath of fire if you can. Inhale, exhale through the nose, pump the navel center.
Absorb yourself in this. It's not long. One minute left, that's it. Sixteen seconds. Keep those arms lifted. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Good. Inhale, please. Turn your palms face out like two stop signs. Push, 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 push. And release the hands down and meditate. Meditate on love. May true love, love that is the universe, love that is nature, love that is trees and the plants and animals, love. Decode it for me, please. Thumb and ring finger come to touch. Elbows bend. And say four breath in and four breath out. With both the in breath and the out breath, with both the in breath and the out breath, you are pumping the navel. Eileen, thumb and, yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay, so inhale, inhale, inhale. So pump the navel four breaths in and four breaths out.
keep going. 20 seconds left. Excellent work to do in this season, Pranayama series. Breathing deeply. Next time you exhale, bring your hands together at your heart center and push. Inhale deeply, hold. Exhale, release your hands down and meditate. Soul purpose is to love. Reason that you're here. Interlace your palms, press them straight ahead. Inhale up, exhale down. Go, go, go. Everything is two to three minutes. So first exercise we did three minutes. These we're doing two each. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Keep going, keep going. Rise, 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 keep going. Beautiful work. Move any stagnant energy, move it along. Any stagnation in the mind, move it along. Forty seconds left. Pull up through that side body. Pull through the armpit chest. Mm -hmm. Twenty seconds. Breathe it, breathe it, breathe it. Good, we're gonna go right into the stretch your arms out to those two stop signs, arms out to the side, and then arms up, touch the back of your hands, back to the stop signs, up and back. Go, go, go. This entire um, Kriya or practice here is sitting cross-legged. So if at any time you need to change your seat, please do that. Anytime you need to stretch your legs out, please do that. One minute left, and the rest is very easy. Stay with it. One minute left, and the rest is not using your arms like this. It's using the arms, but nothing that's going to be difficult. I promise. I promise. I promise. I know Kundalini yoga teachers do lie, but I promise this one. Last, last 50 seconds of moving your arms like this. Forty seconds. Don't forget, you're always able to fly. 
You just think you can't, so you don't. I think I can't, so I don't. Here we go, 20 seconds, you're almost there. Make it worth you coming to class today. Go for it, go for it, go for it. Yes, 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 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, relax your hands down and meditate. Thumb and first finger come to touch. Elbows in close, oh sorry, elbows just out to the sides and twist left and right. Inhale left, exhale right. Inhale left, exhale right. Keep going, you're almost there, 30 seconds. Twenty seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, inhale, center. Exhale, release the hands down. Listen deeply. And always stretch out your legs if you need to. Good. Take your hands on top of your shoulders so your thumbs point back, your four fingers are in the front. You inhale, slide left, exhale, slide right. Make sure the breath is the focus here. That looks amazing, everybody. Keep going. 
powerful. We're moving in every direction, bringing any stagnation, any blocks. So beautiful. So connected. Your body is saying something to you, listen. What is the story your body has to share? Twenty seconds. Good. Inhale, center. And exhale, release your hands down and feel. Again, extending your legs as you need. I am so grateful in this lifetime that I met the practice of pranayama. Give my cells of my body a pure prana. Take your right hand up, extend your thumb and your, uh, and your uh, ring finger and begin alternate nostril breathing. So inhale through your left nostril, exhale through your right. Inhale through your right, exhale through your left. And continue like that, in through one nostril, out through the other. Breathe very powerfully in through one nostril, out through the other. This pranayama series. Good, next time you exhale through the right nostril, release the hand down. And then we're gonna move right into sitli breath. So O-shaped mouth or curled tongue. Out through the nose. O-shaped mouth or curled tongue. Out through the nose. Continue like that.
I'm gonna do my break. Just one more breath after this one. Twenty five seconds. Cooling sickly breath, helping to draw any inflammation out of the body if there is. Any anger, judgment. Good. Next time you exhale, release the breath. And our final. So Bring your fingers to touch. Bring the pointer, the middle, and the ring finger, squeeze them together. And your pinky and your thumb pull apart. So they're still touching, right? They're touching, but we're pulling them down. So my pointer, middle, and ring all are squeezing together. And then I'm gonna bring that in toward my heart center and I'm gonna gaze down through my pinky. And the breath is like this. It's in through the nose, out through the nose, in through the mouth, out through the mouth, in through the nose, out through the mouth, in through the mouth, out through the nose. Should I do that with you or you got it? Do it with you? <laughs> Okay, I'll do it a couple more times with you. It's pretty easy though. Once you once you get it, it's very easy. Okay, so here we go. In through the nose, out through the nose, in through the mouth, out through the mouth, in through the nose, uh, in through the nose, out through the mouth, in through the mouth out through the nose, in through the nose, out through the nose, in through the mouth, out through the mouth, in through the nose, out through the mouth, in through the mouth, out through the nose. I'll do it one more time with you. In through the nose, out through the nose, in through the mouth, out through the mouth, in through the nose, out through the mouth, in through the mouth, out through the nose. And try to do that on your own, just a couple more rounds. If you get confused, just Breathe. Good, finish the one that you're on right now. And then release your hands. And pause for a moment to feel every inch of you.
You can either stay here or lie in your back for Shavasana. Just one more minute here, completely either relaxing or listening. Let me begin to breathe a little deeper. If you're lying on your back, feel free to take some spinal twists. If you're seated, take some spinal twists. And we'll come all the way back up to sit.
So I did this uh, meditation in um, class Tuesday morning, Susan was there. And it was the first time I ever did this and I loved it. I really fell in love with it. And so I wanted to bring it to you all. Um, and we're gonna do a mudra that works with communication. And so when we're talking about decoding the love in the world, we're talking about decoding the love within ourselves, the communication we have with ourselves. So the fingers go like this, pinkies touch, thumbs touch, the ring finger curls down. So the ring finger just curls down and it doesn't touch. And then the pointer in the middle don't touch either. So it kind of hangs there. So my thumb touches, my pinky touches, my ring finger curls down. And my pointer in middle just kind of sit right in front of each other without touching. Yeah? Bring that down to your heart center. Okay, close your eyes. And this is me saying out loud what we would say to ourselves. I am ready to consciously create my own reality. And I ask for inner guidance. First, how do I know what I really want? I use my instincts to listen to my inner guide. I can trust my body for it perceives, understands, and responds from the core of my being. Becky, do you need me to tell you that again? Or you got it? You got it? Okay. I feel my idea, whatever this idea is that you wish to manifest, Feel it in your solar plexus. It is guaranteed that I will feel something deep in my gut. And I know that this feeling will tell me the truth. This is the feeling that I trust. If I feel agitated or queasy or hollow or shaky or cold, the answer is no. But if I feel peaceful, expansive, solid, warm and dynamic, the answer is yes. Creating all possibilities. If the feeling is negative and I try to make it happen anyway, some program deep inside me will sabotage it, block it, prevent it from happening or cause me deep distress. If the feeling is positive, I'll be able to support myself in the process of making this choice, whatever it may be, come true. I consciously relax, the calmness helps still my mind so that I can get out of the way and I can actively support myself and I can attract invisible assistance. This calmness helps me create the space so I can consciously accept what I am going for, believe that I deserve it, have faith that I'm being supported and trust all the signs along the way and receive the collaboration of all my helpers. How can I disguise fantasy from reality in my mind? If I have to hold an image or thought in my mind, if I have to concentrate to maintain it, if it goes away when I relax, it's a creation of wishful thinking. If the image arises spontaneously and gets deeper when I relax and doesn't go away when I focus on it, it's a creation of my higher mind. It's a message to listen to. It's a signal from the universe. It is a possibility that can become a reality. I feel deep in my solar plexus and I call on Ra, R-A, Ra, the sun god, to clear the fire of pain, to transmute the fire to dynamic aliveness. Ra, say it again and again, Ra, <coughs> begins his golden healing, releasing all negative emotions so that I can vibrate at a higher level. Ra goes deep into my pit and infuses molten gold energy through all distractions, all frustrations, all confusions, and all numbness. Ra creates a conscious trance of clarity, one-pointedness, coherence, stillness, and vitality. Ra does his magic. 
I gently pass through the gates of sadness, fear, and anger. And I enter the sacred sanctuary of my heart where I feel and recognize peace. I inhale deep and I activate my power. I exhale and I turn on my passion. I listen and I hear my plan. I ask and I'm told it is beginning to happen. I settle gently into the space of my heart. I'm ready to create from a space of who I am and who I want to be and what works for me. I dive into a state of pure heart consciousness, pure joy, pure love, pure compassion, pure aliveness, pure passion. All negative emotions are gone. The emotional intensity remains. It spins me into a web of ecstasy. And I vibrate the purity of love, joy, compassion, and harmony. And every cell of my body, every part of my body is dancing in sync with the other. My aura is clear, golden, and soft. Grounded with the earth, dynamically present and vibrantly vital. I feel what I want. I feel my body to make sure that it is at peace with my wishes. I examine my psyche to make sure that it supports all I request. And I check out my mind to see if it believes that I can have what I want. I investigate my motivation to make sure they are honest, sincere, pure, and for the highest purpose. I am well aware that my projection must be soul oriented. I must be clear with what I want. My motivations must come from a pure heart. I know that I have the power to manifest what I want. When I am controlled by negative emotions, I'll get surprised that I do not desire. Surprises that I do not desire. When I am aligned with love, I'll get what I want and much more. I know that. And I no longer have to live with limitations. I'm being supported to be the best that I can be. And when I listen to my heart and my inner guide, I know what the best is. I inhale deeply, I hold my breath and feel my whole body resonate with pure love, pure joy, pure peace, pure life and pure harmony. I exhale and infuse my aura with love, joy, peace, life and harmony. I inhale deeply and feel my body and aura vibrate gold. I exhale and send golden light, peace, joy, and light to Mother Earth. I inhale deeply and feel my body or and the earth vibrate with love. I exhale deep and send love, joy, and peace to the sun and the moon, to the planets and the stars. I inhale and receive the love from the sun, the moon, the planet, and the stars. I exhale and send love to the whole universe. I inhale and feel my being vibrate in harmony with the universe. And I exhale and feel my heart beat in unison with the cosmos. I inhale deep, hold my breath and feel in every cell of my body how I will feel when I have what I'm requesting for. I exhale and send my request to the sun and the moon and the stars and the planet. I inhale and receive the supportive energy from the sun, the moon, the stars and the planets. I exhale and send my request out to vibrate through the whole universe. I inhale and open my heart, my mind, my body, and my soul to receive the bountiful gifts of heaven. And I exhale gratitude to all my helpers. I feel deep in my soul what I want. And I ask that it manifests in my physical reality for my highest good, for the total satisfaction of my purest emotional needs, for the complete health and balance of my mental, physical, emotional self, for the highest soul growth in total alignment with my destiny path for the highest good of all concerned, and for the highest healing on the planet, and for the quickest evolution of universal love. Bring your hands together in prayer, please. Let them close. I inhale and feel a deep peace permeate, permeating my being. I am in a state of total connectedness, total trust. I am in a state of total gratitude. The angels hear me whisper thank you. This is their sign. They are instantaneously activated. They scurry off to all corners of the globe and the universe to do what is needed for my wish to come true. I smile deep within. The sun smiles, the stars, the moon, the planets, the universe smiles. 
Manifesting is about believing in myself, loving myself, and being patient. Being ready for surprises, getting excited about trusting, honoring, and holding sacred the process, even when I don't see it happening. So be it. Releasing your hands and returning back to Shavasana. Take all of this in. Let it sweep over your body. These animals, these trees are a manifestation of love. For no other reason have they come into being. They are a reflection of the love that sustains and upholds the universe. Humanity once knew this, but all too quickly they have forgotten. And when they block the channels of love that flow between them and the rest of the natural world, it is my greatest desire, Sita said, to prevent this from happening. So we must saturate the world with more love. That is our sole task. Saturate the world with more love. That is our sole task. Let your breath deepen. Let your body stretch.
And as you feel ready, come back up to set. Bring your hands together at your heart center. We'll call it a long sat nam. Inhale. So. Adding your hands to the space between the eyebrows, but nom everyone. Thank you so, so, so much. Go outside and play. Thank you. Great. Thank you, Cheryl. Beautiful, Cheryl. Thank you. Of course, of course. Everybody have a beautiful day. Mm -hmm. You too. Love, love. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome.